Hello YouTubers, welcome to Junior here, and in today's video, uh, what I want to bring you guys is actually uh, many solutions I've come across to fix the performance issues with Battlefield 1. Now granted, uh, these solutions work in different cases, I mean everybody's having different problems, so uh, I was just going to make a, a, sh a hopefully short video uh, showing the solutions that I found and that people uh, actually replied that they, they actually worked or things like that. Uh, so I'm just going to post these on here. If you guys have any more solutions, uh, please let us know in the comments down below. Um, or like, uh, let us know if the solutions work or whatever. And what your PC specs are, I'm sure people would love to know because there's a lot of people having the same issues as you guys. Uh, so the first one I wanted to actually show you guys is you actually make uh, a config file with Notepad. So you just open up your Notepad. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description. Uh, in the video for where all these solutions can be found. So basically all you have to do in the notepad is actually uh, just change these settings like this. So basically what we're doing with this is we're making the maximum variable FPS 60 and render device, uh, uh, render a head limit. So that means the uh, the frames that are gonna be rendered ahead of time is one. So, so um, if you guys have 144 hertz monitor stuff like that 120 hertz you can change this to uh, the refresh rate of your monitor they have one built in but I'm not sure how uh, good it is uh, I haven't really tried it out or had any success with it so I just you can just try this and for the render device render a head limit you can uh, fiddle around, fiddle around with these numbers between one two three and four so try that out and see what gives you the best uh, performance and then you go save as you're gonna go put this into your uh, battlefield one uh, directory which is in your x86 and then you go to origin games battlefield one and you're just gonna save it in here don't forget to go save as uh, all files and then go uh, user dot config just save it like that and then it should uh, change uh, the settings in game you can also add in the uh, file uh, perf overlay dot draw fps1 this will be to enable the uh, in-game fps counter if you don't want to use fraps or whatever so you can just put that on and see if it actually helped you or not so the second uh, solution that people have found that actually helped them get better performance in battlefield 1 is turning off uh, shadow play for nvidia users and uh, turning off plays.tv for uh, amd users so basically for a shadow play, uh, you just have to go to settings and where it says share, you just, instead of having it like where it's green, you just select it and turn it off. This should uh, help you in some cases get better frames. Um, so you might just want to try that. Uh, people have also seen different uh, experiences by not even installing GeForce Experience and not using it at all and actually just using the base driver for your NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, so you guys might have to try all these solutions and see which, which one works the best for you. Uh, AMD users, I don't have Plays.TV installed because I have an NVIDIA video card, but uh, it's pretty much the same principle. You just go in your settings and turn it off. Um, something else that you might want to do is actually do a clean uninstall of your drivers. So just go on Google and search DDU, which is a driver uninstaller, display driver uninstaller. You just download that and uh, it's gonna prompt you when you actually, uh, so when you launch the uh, display install uninstaller, um, it's actually, okay, it's right now said update. It's actually going to prompt you and you might, you're gonna wanna go in safe mode, recommended. It's gonna do everything for you and when you're launched into safe mode, it's gonna uninstall the drivers and then you're gonna be able to actually do a clean install. When you reinstall your drivers, go into your, go into the downloads or wherever you download the driver to. And then when you run it as an administrator, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna do a clean install? Do that and people have seen some performance uh, benefits with this. Uh, something else that you might want to do is um, instead of doing a config file, if you want to uh, just mess around in your NVIDIA control panel, you just go in here, uh, manage 3D settings. We're going to be doing the same thing that we did with user.config file, but instead uh, we're going to go directly into the NVIDIA control panel. So you just go uh, manage 3D settings, and then you go program settings, and then you can either do this for all your programs or just one or many of your programs, depending on what uh, games you're having issues with. So it's going to load in real quick. Okay, now we have, see, you have Battlefield 1 up here. So what you might want to do is uh, 
this is the same thing we did with the config file, maximum pre-rendered frames. I have it set to one right now. It's usually just on user 3D application. Uh, so you might want to try those out and see which one gives you better performance. For me, one gives me the best performance, so I just keep it like that. And for AMD users, it's you can do the same thing. I'm not sure about the control panel, but uh, you should be able to find it out pretty easily. Uh, something else that you might want to do is actually you go into your uh, your search bar and you go MS config. And it's going to open up your system configurations. And then when it's on boot right here, uh, no, sorry. Yes, boot. You go into advanced options and uh, uncheck this and check maximum memory. This is somebody in my past video that actually uh, posted this on uh, my video, Tr told me to try this, so I actually tried it. And so far I've seen some improvement, uh, so you guys might want to try that. Something else that uh, you might not want to do depending on uh, the temperatures on your PC and whatnot and if you're not really uh, you don't really want to overclock you might not want to do it just download uh, MSI Afterburner you can try overclocking your video card a uh, couple uh, hundred about a hundred on the core clock and maybe 500 on the memory clock you can try that and fiddle around with it and see what's the best what's the most stable for you um, and it might be able to give you a couple extra frames on Battlefield 1 uh, although they might be minute and it might just give you a slight improvement, uh, it's worth a try because I've seen so many people having issues with uh, the performance on Battlefield 1 that at this point I think anybody's willing to try pretty much anything. Uh, but just make sure you don't overclock too far not to fry your card or anything. So just use what's the, what's the most stable. If it's not stable, your computer's just going to shut down because it wants to not damage your parts by overheating. So uh, you can just do that. Now, something else that is I can't put enough stress on. Um, you're going to want to disable Origin in-game. So how you do this, you just uh, open up Origin. And then you go on the right, on the left-hand corner in the top. Just go Application Settings. And wait for it to load. Okay, Origin in-game and just disable it. Uh, I've seen much better performance since I've disabled it for some reason it just seems to use a lot of CPU power for no reason uh, so just disabling it you might see uh, very good results and the last and final solution that you might want to try is actually unparking your CPU cores uh, so I'll leave a link in the description down below for where to go get the application well the the software for this so it's free software uh, just go on Google you can also just do this and uh, core un park you can just do that like that and um, there's actually tutorials on YouTube and whatnot uh, so just go park control free uh, you can see that you have all the everything here all the um, the whole the whole explanation like all the process of un unparking your cores and and what it does and whatnot you all have that so I'm just gonna leave this website down in the description and you can just uh, look take a look at that I'm not going to go over uh, how to unpark your cores uh, because it, I don't want to make the video too long. I wanted to make a short video. Uh, so I'll leave all that in the link and uh, all those as links down in the description. Uh, so if you guys have better performance with any of these tricks, please do say so in the comments down below and leave your PC specs down there. Also, there are a few things that you can do inside the game. Uh, so the first one is uh, disable your GPU memory restriction. So that is in the advanced settings in Battlefield 1. And also... Um, uh, disable DX12. So DirectX 12 is known to have worse performance than DirectX 11. So those are, I'm not going to show you guys because I'm sure you can find them pretty easily in Battlefield 1 in the settings. Uh, so if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. I'm sorry if the video was kind of long. Uh, I had like many solutions to talk to you guys about. Uh, but as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.